Strap yourselves in, people, because we've got a whirlwind coming your way. This afternoon, Kent Police have confirmed that counter-terrorism police are now leading the investigation into the firebombing of a Dover immigration centre on Sunday. The suspect has been named as 66-year-old Andrew Leake from High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. So that's the latest when it comes to that. But the news comes amid this particular backdrop because the immigration minister has warned against demonising people seeking to come to the UK. This is after Home Secretary Swella Braverman said England now faces an invasion of migrants on the south coast. I don't know about you, but doesn't it not seem like Swella Braverman might be being hung out to dry a little bit here? Not a huge amount of support from Rishi Sunak, not a huge amount of support from the immigration minister. Why? She's simply saying what many people are thinking, isn't she? In the Commons, she promised to fix the UK's broken asylum system as she rejected calls to resign over her response to the migrant crisis and, indeed, being a bit squiffy over the ministerial code. Joining me now, live, to discuss this topic, is former member of the European Parliament, it's Rupert Lowe. Rupert, thank you very much. Is Britain being invaded? Well, I, I, I must say, I, I agree with Suella Braverman. I, I, I think the level of, of, of noise that we're seeing from the, uh, the, the woke left just shows that she's actually hit the mark. Uh, it's time the British people put at the top of the agenda. Uh, I, I personally don't think a lot of these people are genuine asylum seekers. Uh, as, you, uh, as, you, as you've been reporting, they're basically Albanian criminals, a lot of them, uh, and they're coming here illegally. So I, I think it's important we have somebody who's intelligent, who believes in what they're doing, and I think Suella Braverman, uh, in the comments that she's made recently, is spot on. So uh, I'm fully behind her. We are running out of room. Rupert, we have seen hotels commandeered in their entirety. We are now hearing about hotel rooms individually being commandeered. We are hearing of social housing being used, private rental housing being used, detention centres overflowing. We are heading towards tent cities, are we not? Well, I, I, as I say, I think it's important we put the British taxpayer at the top of the agenda. That's what the government's elected to do. And... As you know, in my old constituency in the West Midlands, there were a lot of hotels that were uh, suddenly filled up with, with so-called uh, asylum seekers who are actually illegal immigrants. Uh, and, you know, Australia has shown us the way. Uh, they basically uh, do take this very seriously. They have a zero tolerance policy. Uh, anyone who comes into Australia illegally is basically uh, 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 taken to various processing centres offshore Australia. And they are not thereafter allowed to enter Australia legally. Now, I'm all in favour of legal uh, immigration, but people have to go through the right channels. And at the, at the end of the day, this, these, these people coming in who are, uh, as we read, now yeah. running various, uh, you know, drug, drug rings and, and other criminal activities in the UK are damaging the interests of everybody who lives here. Let, so me, just, let me just read to you, let me just read to you, Rupert, the definition of invasion. OK, now the initial definition is an instance of invading a country or region with an armed force that may well not apply, really, although we are hearing of some of these people apparently being armed. An incursion by a large number of people or things into a place or sphere of activity. Check. An unwelcome intrusion into another's domain. Well, many people think that that's what's exactly going on here. So. It's pretty clear when people like to wheel out the dictionary definition of invasion, they're focusing on the initial one, which is stoking up kind of some military tensions. But actually, if they just read a little bit further down the line, they see that what Sweller Braverman is saying, I think a lot of people would argue, fits the bill. And I can't help but wonder when you see people like Yvette Cooper getting so wound up about it now, is it convenient for her to start talking about the use of language as opposed to talking about the fact that actually Labour, as far as I can see, has no policy to stop the boats coming across, has no policy for deportations, and it really has no policy on where on earth we're going to put these people, apart from making their lives more comfortable. Well, spot on. And, and you know, people like Yvette Cooper, who is soundly unsound, she's got a history of are basically being soft on, on migrants of any kind. So, I, I, I mean, Labour are just not to be trusted on, on this subject. I think most of the British establishment aren't to be trusted, particularly the civil service. The BBC, uh, as you know, I'm a, a keen uh, proponent of defunding the BBC, which I think is a woke monopoly now. Uh, it no longer informs, educates and entertains with complete... Uh, uh, independent with a, with a completely um, arbit uh, sort of independent view rather than and a balanced view, which is what Reith wanted. 
it, it basically, with impartiality is the word I'm looking for, he, at the end of the day, that the, the organs of, of this woke Britain that we've got uh, are, you know, are, are, they've gone into overdrive on Suella Braverman. I think, I think Rishi Sunak now has got to show us that he is strong. He believes in the person he's appointed. He needs to uh, throw his weight fully behind her, support what she's doing, and, and solve the problem. If, if they don't, then I think the Tories are going to lose an awful lot of votes at the next election. You know what? I actually felt quite sorry, Rupert, yesterday for Swella Braverman. She stood there, apparently quite isolated, as, from what I could see, a one-woman defence against a woke group of people who are asking us to suspend reality and logic. They've done it already when it comes to gender and they're doing it now when it comes to this idea of, oh, we're keeping them in terrible conditions. How on earth do you expect a detention centre that was only ever supposed to be equipped for 1,500 people to cope with the fact that 1,500 people arrived in one day over the weekend, 40,000 so far this year? They were saying she hasn't commandeered enough hotels. How does the British taxpayer think about that? I thought that Swallow Braverman actually did quite a good job yesterday and if she wants to call it an invasion, she is perfectly well within her rights to call it that, given that actually the definition of invasion would arguably back her up. Can I just say thank you very much, Rupert Lowe there, who is a former member of the European Parliament.